northwest 18 or so. You can see that big tree is whipping the top of it. Down here behind the house is not too bad, just a little shake up. Hank had a sort of a restful night. He gets a lot of jazz sometimes from the boys. Let's see what the forecast here is. It went away for some reason. Come on, you piece of crap, you. Stand by. Oh, there, there it goes. Okay, 62, 68 is a high. Northwest, 7 to 14. So that's about what it is right now, 14. Friday is uh, warmer. Thunder sh showers and thunderstorms are around. Southwest, 8 to 16. That would be a little warmer. See, that's the temperature difference. Right now, it's in the mid-50s. Well, it looks like a rough morning, doesn't it? Kind of breezy. Tides high. People are exceeding the speed limit. Like me. I'm uh, dropping off knives today. No pickups in the, in the works that I know of. Other than the guy is going to drop some knives off this afternoon around 2. I don't know anything about them. And the spend is, uh, I don't know yet, probably unlikely. Well, I did get one call while I was out. A guy met me at the Wawa with uh, four pocket knives. Smith & Wesson, I can't tell what this one is, and two automatic bench mates. Returning customer. I do a lot of knives for this guy. He's a contractor. He does duck work. Blue skies. Still got some wind. I don't know if you can hear it or not. It's easy at 14. My van. My YouTube buddy Wesley Lamphere. Tells me I refer to my van as a truck most of the time. And he thinks that's incorrect. It is probably, but you know, I don't think about it when I'm talking about it. It's just a detecting mobile. Well, while we're on the subject of vans, these is my magnetic signs that I take on and off. My second set. Even though they're magnetic, I drive fast and sometimes the wind blows them off. So I got magnets on them now to hold them in place. I'm thinking about taking it to the sign shop and have some have a sign painted on it. But I don't know. What do you think? You think I should leave it? Take this. I, I take them off usually when I get home. So I'm thinking about maybe uh, putting some signs on my truck. Give me some comments. What you think? Oh, oh there I went and said I said truck again, didn't I, Wesley? <laughs> Anyway, van, V-A-N. <laughs> Speaking of trucks, Chris's uh, son-in-law just got a muscle truck. He bought one of them Ford F-150 Roush pickups. Got a 650 horsepower V8 in it. Mickey Thompson tires. Man, that is a fancy damn truck, I tell you that. Good gracious. It goes pretty fast, too. It's a go-fast truck. Okay, I'm thinking about where to go now. It's uh, about 11, I don't know, 11.30, maybe. A lot of people working today. You can see all the trucks over there. Sometimes they got more than that. The steps are about the same. They're working inside, so you can't see really what's going on but no change on the steps. 
My fig tree is okay. Nobody's cutting the fig tree. And anyway, I think the tie's low it. I don't know, I don't remember. I gotta look and find out. I got plenty of time though. Well, it says the tide yesterday, I mean today where we were yesterday is at 259. And if I go to Gray Matter City, it's at 328. I don't know where to go. I'll have to think about it more. We've got plenty of time, like I said. It's cold though. God. Well, my two o'clock knife guy that was coming by just texted me. He said he'd be here in 20 minutes. It's like 12.30 now or 1 o'clock. I'm not sure. Somewhere in that range. And then a guy just texted me says, uh, I got some knives I need to get sharpened. Can you pick them up today? I said, maybe. Where are you located? He said, in Norfolk. So I looked at his address and he's about two miles from the cave. So I may just go to the cave today since I'll be relatively close. We'll have to see how it goes. I'll get back to you as soon as I know more. Me and Jack are taking it easier right now. Yes, we are. Hanks are outside with Dottie. But Jack's resting. Well, she just pulled up. Got four Heckle Internationals, a pair of Xylus scissors, and one I've never seen before. W E N G E R. Looks pretty nice though. Now we we'll go pick up the other ones over by the cave. I'll get back to you. Well, here we are. Mount Kilimanjaro, we used to call it before they put the steps in. That was the highest dune we ever had to climb to get to the beach. Got four flights to it now. Mm -hmm. I got uh, I got the knives from that guy. Got three big knives and a little knife. Okay, it's gonna be a good knife day today too. Thomas was here last week, last week one day, if you remember the picture. He swear he found that big tungsten ring. This is about uh, three miles, four miles west of where we've been hunting. <laughs> ah, boy. Waves a little big. Stand by. You can get a hell of a view up here, though. Now we got to go down. Down ain't bad. I see lots of little lows in here and little spots that looks interesting. I think the tide's low in about an hour and a half. I think we'll start right here and go down to that pipe. I guess you can see that pipe way down there. Well, we just found an iron end of a nail or something. Sounded good for some reason. I mean, it sounded like iron, but then it had a good sound to it. So I figured it was the first target we'd dig it. Target number two is a 22, a solid, loud 22. We got it, too. It's like some kind of copper thing. Boy, that thing was loud. God. We 
folks, we're doing this wide sweep again. I got it stretched out all the way. Well, I've been working in and out with no success. So iron's about the only thing I've been hearing. Other than that piece of copper and that nail looking thing I got, that's it so far. Wait, wait. 12, 13. Hit. Jump it. Could be a ball cap. Oh, it's really jumpy now. Because we got it. Hey! Hey, hey! A bottle cap! A gold one, too, boy. Look at that ticket. Gold plated. Well, there's the first hole I told you about. I don't think I'll be able to get into it. It's too deep, I think. But we'll get up to it and take a look. Well, there it is. But without getting grounded, I can't get in it. And I got the sensitivity at 13. God, I hate that little crap. And we got a 17. Sensitivity at 12. I see Richard behind me. Richard said he was coming. I got it. Oh, a bottle cap. Another bottle cap. That 12. 17 in red, though. I got a sensitivity at 12. Well, we got the first coin sound. 22. Not a coin, though. Big chunk of aluminum, it looks like. God. Well, it's so damn slow. When I get to that pipe, I'm going to turn around. Now I'm going to work up here on the damp sand, going back. If I don't find anything, I'm going home. I dug a couple of iron sounds just to have something to dig. And I got two of those uh, steel clips that hold the ammunition, you know, in a belt, ammunition belt clips. I iron one right here, but I ain't going to dig it. But it looks interesting, just no targets here at all. Not unless it improves fast. Well, we got a 16. Sounds pretty good. If 
we get it out, that is. Stand by. Big sliver of copper. Well, that's the pipe. We'll go just beyond the pipe. Might be a hole, looks like a hole on the other side. And then we'll turn around. Uh-oh. We got an eight here. Sometimes I like eight. Well, I got it out, but I don't see anything. Not, it didn't fall out. I didn't get it. Maybe just quit barking for a minute or two. Huh. I don't know. Stand by. Well, I kept digging. Finally got it. Some kind of little junky thing. There's a big hole right there. Let's we'll check it out. Then we'll turn around. Fifteen. Got a fifteen right here. I don't like fifteen. Bala Cappy. Oh, a black pull tab. That's better than a pull a, a bottle cap. This place worse than the land in Nada. There's Richard. Let's see how he's doing. Front. I didn't. I haven't had anything. Not even one bottle cap. I got a bottle cap and two, three, three pieces of aluminum and two, two uh, things. The whole ammunition. I'm gonna hunt up high going back. We have to go someplace else, maybe. Were you in uh, in the water? Were you in beach too? No one. Yeah. I, I don't know. I always hunt one. Right along here, about ten years ago, eight years ago. I don't know how many years ago it was. I found a big chunk of aluminum, kind of thick, had a lot of salt built up on it, but it had a funny shape to it. So I got it home and I knocked off the salt and the sand. It was a aluminum scales of an automatic Benchmade, 9100 automatic Benchmade. Well, I cleaned it up and 
you know, put it on my YouTube thing. That was before I was in the knives. And one of my YouTube guys says, you know, you can send that back to Benchmade. They'll fix it up for you. I couldn't, you know, it was all froze up. I couldn't get it to do anything. So I filled out the form, sent it off. About six weeks later, I got it back. I told them to leave it as original as they could. Well, they've got it all fixed, working automatic. Cleaned it up a little teeny bit, put a new uh, blade in it. That was a nice knife. I gave it to uh, Chris's son. Automatic bench made right along here. I guess that's a vape pipe or something. It was in that hole right there. I don't know if Richard dug it up. Somebody dug it, but it was laying. I had to take about four scoops to get it. I don't know. That's the best find of the day, though. Well, I guess today is going to be a wash. I think I'm going home, sharpen some knives. That's killing Manjaro. Hey. Finding much? Not much. How about you? Uh, yeah, pretty, pretty good. Something right here. Ten cent, the best find of the day. Right up in this wash. Where that ski baby was. Hey, we'll we'll stick around here for a second or two more. Hey, where all this grass is. Got a seventeen. I bet that's a nice ticket. Oh, a carabiner. I was expecting a bottle cap. She's walking on her tiptoes. She was walking on her tiptoes when I first saw. Maybe she's a, what do you call it? Ballerina. That's what I'm thinking of, ballerina. Got a one here. Never been fond of ones. Piece of aluminum foil or something. I figured that's what that was. Got a nice crab fight buoy right there. Yeah, I just picked it up over here. <laughs> Well, I guess you found all the treasure. I'm leaving. Right? I said you found all the treasure. I'm leaving. I know. I was just collecting rocks for a project I'm doing. Yeah? Yeah. Damn, I had some kind of accident right here. Some lady in the street. I don't see no cars around now. Oh, there's one car. No, that's a truck. I didn't see any people. Maybe she passed out in the street or something. I don't know. Wasn't no cars involved that I could see. I'm back in Ocean View, taking some knives back. The ones I picked up, the last ones, the guy had to have them back. So I said, okay, I'll get them to you about six. It's 5.59 right now. I ain't gonna make six, but I'm only 10 minutes away. I guess that's a vapor or e-cigarette. I guess that's a vapor. That's the ammo clips. I think you've seen just about everything else. 
Oh, I know. You need to see this Energizer. I got a baby triple A. Well, that's right. That's bleak, ain't it? God, a ball spot. I hate it. What's the matter with my buddy? I just had a very disturbing, very disturbing afternoon. You see those balls right there, right? You know, we throw ball every day. Well, we probably threw 60 balls today. I don't know how many we threw. 70, 50. And for the first time ever, Jack could not see them. He could only see one or two. He didn't. His eyes look a little funny. But he couldn't catch no balls today. That's the first that's ever happened. What's the matter with my big old Jack? I have to go to the doctor tomorrow and find out. Well, you can't see today. This big old Hank in the Indian. Big old Jack. What's wrong with you, big old Jack? Look at them old eyes. <laughs>